This video will focus on the sections of the application on professional liability history and additional information. So first we'll go to the section on professional liability history services and activities and click on update. We're now on the professional liability history application page. Before you begin completing the section of the application or any other sections of the application, make sure you review HRSA's most recent program assistance letter on cal calendar year 2013 FTCA requirements, which is program assistance letter 2012-02 and is available on the HRSA FTCA website. The section of the application is only one question. It asks whether any professional liability claims or allegations have been filed against your health center and or one of its employees or contractors within the past five years. So if you have not been involved in any liability claims in the past five years, you will simply click on no and move on. If you have had a claim filed against you or one of your, your health center or one of your providers within the past five years, you'll click on yes, and then you'll also need to attach a separate document. This separate document must include the name of the provider or providers involved, the area of practice or specialty, the date of the occurrence, the summary of allegations, and the status or the outcome of claims. Now in this document you should include only this information that is listed here. Please do not include any additional information or any information that admits to wrongs or mistakes. Again, it's very important that you include just the basic information that is listed here. So this is an example of what that attached document would look like. As you'll notice, you have the name of the health center here, a title that this is the review of the professional liability history for the past five years, and then you list the claim, the name of the provider involved or providers, area of practice or specialty, date of occurrence, summary of allegations, and the status and the outcome of the claim. Now if you had more than one claim, you would simply do the same thing for each claim and list them underneath here. Now we'll go back to the main application page. Now since we have had a claim filed against our health center within the past five years, we'll attach that document and we'll click on attach. Under document, click browse. Locate the document on your computer. Double click. And click attach document. You should get this green message here stating that the attachment was saved successfully and the document will also be listed here at the bottom of the page under attached documents. So since we're finished attaching, we'll click finished attaching and this will take us back to that application page. As I mentioned, there's only one question in this section of the application which we've now completed, so therefore the status over here in the top right corner now says complete. So if we wanted to save this page and stay on the page, we could click Save. To save and continue to the next part of the application, click Save and Continue. And this will take us right to the next section of the application, which is for additional information. Again, these error messages are here because I had not completed all of the information here before saving the document. So once we complete this section, they will no longer be there. Um, you should also have this green message stating that the information in the previous section was saved successfully and that it's now complete. So we'll move on to the first question in this section, which is, has your health center achieved one of the, or more of the following designations from a national review body by demonstrating the ability to meet nationally recognized standards, guidelines, and measures related to quality assurance and quality improvement in healthcare organizations? So it's basically whether you're accredited certified or recognized by a national professional organization. So if you do not have this accreditation or rec recognition, you'll click no. If you do, click yes. And then the second part of this question, you can specify which organization you've received this accredita accreditation or recognition by. So for example, if you're accredited by the Joint Commission, you can click on this first field here. For the Accreditation Association for Ambulatory Healthcare, click here. For Adjunct Medical Home Chapter, click here. And if you're accredited by the National Committee for Quality Insurance, Patient Centered Medical Home Accreditation, you can click on this field. And for National Committee for Quality Insurance Accreditation, you can also specify whether it's level one, two, three, or non-applicable. 
If you're accredited or recognized by an organization that's not listed here, you can click on Other and then list the organization in this field here. If you've answered no to this question, there's a comment section available here. So if you enter no, you'll need to also fill out this comment section and explain why you have not been recognized or accredited by a professional organization. Moving to question two. Has your health center's personnel participated in medical malpractice risk management training or related continuing education in the last 12 months? If they have, you'll click yes. And if you click yes, you'll also need to use this text field here to list the particular training or continuing education that staff has received. If you click no, you'll need to use the same field to explain your response. So either way, whether you click yes or no, you are going to be entering information into this text field here. So we'll click yes, and then we would need to list the particular training here. For question three, describe the health center's plan for continuing education and annual medical malpractice risk management training for all health center staff for the upcoming year. For the, so for this question, it's not a yes or no answer. You're just going to use this text field to describe your plans for continuing education. So we'll click Save to save these responses and stay on this page. So these error, error messages are no longer here because we completed all of the required information. We have this green message stating that the information was saved successfully. And since we've completed all of the questions, our status here in the right hand corner is now complete. So this navigation bar over here on the left hand side, if we don't want to save and continue to the next section, we can go back and, and we can click on any one of these options to go to that section of the application. So for example, if we want to go back to the risk management systems, we can click on that link and it'll take us back to that section of the application. If we click on status, this takes us back to the main application page. And now these sections for professional liability history and additional information are now complete.